excuse me, uh, that seat is actually for my date. <laughs> my sincerest apologies. Wait, you're my date? But you look nothing like your picture. Oh no. Look, I'm just gonna be honest with you. I'm not gonna do the thing that everybody does, either pretends to go to the bathroom and leaves, or worse, just, just sit through the date and then just cut things off. I'm gonna actually tell you how I feel about this situation. I'm gonna try to be as respectful as possible, but understand that, that why this is wrong. And I don't know if you understand why, but I'll explain. Because a lot of the times, whenever someone gets caught catfishing, they always have a way of reversing the situation and making themselves look like the victims. But I need you to understand that why this will always never work. And, and you have to see it coming. I mean, look, this has nothing to do with your appearances. This has nothing to do with, I don't know, any other reasons why you would catfish, but it has nothing to do with that. What it has to do with is the fact that you did catfish, that you did lie about who you are, what you look like, and what you do. The fact that you lied about those three things is enough for me to tell that you are a liar. And that, and that that's the basis of why I shouldn't even trust you. There is no foundation. The problem is that I spent nights talking to you on the phone, telling you how I feel, and actually relating to you on a personal level, except it wasn't you. It was the person that you allowed me to believe that was you. See, I identified the person that I was dating. It was the person in that picture. I put all that imagination and love into that. So, <laughs> that name and that person that's, that's all fabricated. And then you come in, you sit down, and you pretend like this is okay, that this is normal, when you haven't even considered as to how I feel. I shouldn't have to accept you if that was your plan, because I shouldn't. Because just like you, I have, I have morals. I have standards that I don't want to be used. I don't want to be hurt. And if you had just come to me as how you are in real life, I would have gotten by it. Honestly, looks mean very little to nothing compared to, to trust. And the fact that I can't trust you is the biggest slap in the face. The fact that you lied to me, you made me believe this facade is what hurts me. How could you expect me to just accept you for who you are? When who you are is something that I don't know. I don't know you. I know this person, this person on the phone, the pictures, the names. That's who I know. You, I don't, I don't know you. And I feel like I get sick and tired of hearing, oh, but, but you, you're just uh, insulting me and, and just demanding that I should be a certain way. Nobody has to be perfect. Nobody is, but the fact is, is that you lied, you deceived me, a person that I thought you knew would have understood that, 
and hell, you even said you would never catfish me, but it turns out you were the biggest catfish that I've ever seen. You changed three forms of identity of yourself. And that hurts. Because everything that I have attached myself to was a lie. There is nothing about you that I know to be true. And even if you say that those conversations were real, under what basis can I trust that? There is no foundation. So, you can't tell me that you didn't see this coming. I mean, most scenarios end with how I started this conversation, which is either one, pretending to go to the bathroom and then leaving your ass in the dinner table, two, trying to push through the relationship or until it eventually just breaks off because, you know, it's the biggest lie. And the relationship itself started from a lie. Or three, I confront you. And mind you, I confronted you with the utmost respect. I didn't insult how you look. I didn't insult who you are or what your name is. Because honestly, you're a human being. And just like me, you you deserve the utmost respect. And not that there's anything wrong with you either. But the fact that you have to lie about everything that you are deserves no respect. I should be angry. I should be screaming at you. But that won't get through to you. That'll just try to create this victimhood in your head that you have been shamed on your appearance. And that's not the case. The case is that you played with my heart. You played with my my emotions. And then demanded that I that I accept you. You don't deserve that. That's the one time that I t- that I'm gonna tell someone that you don't deserve respect. But I'm still giving it to you. Because maybe, maybe you can see how you are doing wrong. Not just to the people around you and the people that you trick, but also to you. Why do you have to disgrace yourself and pretend to be someone else? When you should accept who you are. How do you expect anything, anybody to actually respect you if you don't respect yourself? You constantly put yourself in last place. You lie about your appearance. You forget your name. And for what? To lead up to this particular moment? To be judged heavily? And then you restart the process on the next person? It's almost like you're a parasite. You use people. Only up to the point where you can mess with them psychologically might I add I mean this is traumatizing and again not based on your appearance because I don't think there's anything wrong with you you look beautiful in your own way but traumatizing to the fact that when you sit down you see an image of a person you see a name you expect that, not another person, with different skin, with different eyes, with different hair. How am I supposed to just let this go? You ruined not just one day, but a whole entire week. Or even, well, not one entire week, an entire month of us trying to get to know each other, building up to this point. You have to see how much this hurts me as much as it hurts you. You're not the victim here. You're the assailant. 
so I'm sorry, but I can't sit down with you. I wish you the best, and I hope that you may find someone that can accept you as you are. But you have to learn to be yourself. These lies won't get you anywhere. So, I'll be on my way. Bye.